Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to a follow up episode of the Zyra Wasim video that I uploaded last. We're gonna see and explore some of the reactions from some of these other Bollywood guys and see what they've been saying. Some of this stuff is quite mean. Uh, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> when a girl opts out of a fake exploitative propagandized industry of Bollywood and opts for a more pious, peaceful and practicing lifestyle of spirituality and of a faith. Naturally in Modi's nationalistic, institutionalized, Islamophobic where one in two kids have been sexually exploited New India of his we know there's gonna be some backlash mate you know what I mean let's have a look at the first tweet this is by KRK the bit that caught my eye was this that she's doing it for publicity isn't a publicity stunt supposed to increase your public appeal and you know what let's face it in Modi's India isn't necessarily going to help with your publicity I mean that's similar to somebody wanting publicity in Nazi Germany and claiming to be a Jew. Let's face it, that's gonna be the end of you. Alright let's move on to the other tweet. This is by Payal Rohtagi. She says, Hope she doesn't become a jihadi. My first question here is, does she say rhetoric like this for other things as well? Hey you catching a flight? Hope you don't crash and die. <laughs> hey you about to eat that biryani? Yeah? Hope you don't choke and die. <laughs> I mean, if that's you, mate, maybe that's why you don't get invited to dinner parties often. Oh, what a strange way you're viewing the world through extremes. All right, let's move on to Taslima Nasreen. So she goes, This is a moronic decision. A moronic decision? I'll tell you a moronic decision, mate. A moronic decision is trying to have a barbecue in the middle of a swimming pool or take it an hour to cook one minute rice or going to the dentist just because you want the Bluetooth installed mate. These are moronic decisions. When did trying to live a disciplined, modest and purposeful life become moronic? Then she goes, so many Muslims are under the darkness of the burqa. Come on, give me some numbers mate, let's talk statistics. And people are also under the darkness of their blankets at night. What are you gonna say to that mate? Let's move on to Pratik Sinha. He says more young people need to be breaking away from religion to become more successful. Hang on a minute mate, so are you suggesting that the successful are not religious? <laughs> and let's face it, a lot of people are breaking away from religion. And let's look at the world, it's becoming more miserable, lonely and narcissistic. It needs religion. Come on Pratik mate, stop being a prat. Alright uh, next we got Ravina Tandon, she says Keep your regressive views to yourself. And then six hours later she posts this which is a Muslim drag queen to whom she's giving her support. But a Muslim without the drag queen bit gets none of her support and gets called regressive. Let's move on to this bloke Vivek Ranjan. He says we need to question the book that orders an individual to question the arts. My question is what arts are we talking about? Now this is an industry that's using porn stars to feature in item songs. And let's deal with this issue for a minute here. What's an item song? Because in Hindi an item is regarded as a beautiful woman. So an item song is just literally a lightly dressed woman dancing around with men ogling at her. Where women are being abused and passed around like objects. Let's not get into Bollywood exposed mate yeah. It's not the arts. <laughs> let's keep it there for now. It's the bit where he says let's question the book. Yeah go ahead mate, question the book. And you'll notice if you actually read the book, it has all the answers for you mate. And then he goes on to make a very sarcastic joke about artificial intelligence. First of all mate, that's not the correct usage of the word artificial intelligence. Second thing, she's an 18 year old girl who's trying to find herself. Insulting her on a public platform while you're a verified Twitter celebrity or whatever isn't necessarily the wisest thing to do mate yeah. These were a few of the negative comments that I thought I'd deal with. Of course there are 
loads and loads of positive comments as well. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you haven't done so already. I'm quite active on there and inshallah I'll try to do a live every Saturday. And until next time guys, Salaamu Alaikum.